Fusion World community, welcome back to another video here with Kyle Chris. And today I'm going to be doing a early deck concept uh, for the Red Jiren leader that is coming out in set three. Arguably my favorite leader coming out of the set and uh, probably the most hype that I am to play a new deck that is not green uh, going into set three. Uh, now the Jiren leader is very unique uh, as it is uh, there's only two other leaders in the game that currently has an effect similar to his which is the 25k on the awakened side uh, while he also is awaking at three life so this is very important um, this allows him to sort of buff himself against the aggro decks although red is sort of the um, king of the aggro currently uh, being able to swing 25k however do have some ways of dealing with that so first we're going to go over the leader's effect permanent if you have a battle card with 30k power or more you only take up to one damage uh, in each battle uh, so what this does this uh, stops you from taking uh, double strike damage which is very very nice uh, also there is an effect that you'll see which allows us to stop uh, just damage and you know in general uh, which is nice but when you do take damage you do draw a card so very similar to the other 25k leaders you have to basically almost jump through hoops to be able to draw uh, but that is okay uh, we do have some ways of being able to just cycle more cards into our hand so the hand size shouldn't be too much of an issue now the two big boys of universe 11 are going to be the topo and jiren srs Topo um, being the worst out of the two and arguably a, um, a non-addition to the deck. Um, we'll just have to do a little bit of play testing to find out if it's even worth having in the deck at all. 25k, five, uh, 25K power, 5k combo, 4 drop. When attacking, discard one card and you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, 25k power or less, and KO it. This is very powerful. Um, but for discarding a card, I would say it's probably not the greatest. However, you can think of that card you would be removing would be combo power to killing another card anyways. So, you know, you, you kind of go from there with that. Now, however, when it is KO'd, you will draw two cards. Problem is, blue is looking to be the best color going into next format. And everything that blue does is going to be bottom decking, which means this effect will never trigger. So that's a little bit of a problem uh, so that's why I'm looking at this card if not being in the in the deck at all uh, but again wanted to talk about the card at least so everyone is aware of its effect then we have the 30k Jiren permanent this card can't be KO'd once per turn which is great against everything other than blue and then activate battle once per turn on your opponent's turn you take a damage and then if this card is in rest mode you get to add the top card of your deck to your life so what this does, this allows your leader effect to trigger, uh, essentially drawing you two cards while not taking a damage for the rest of that combat. Uh, 30k is pretty is pretty daunting, however, this card is removed very easily with blue. Um, so blue is definitely looking like the um, the deck we have to sort of counter if we're going into a uh, a heavy blue format or just until a blue uh, uh, a blue format where. Uh, Jiren is uh, likely to be the victim of some of the other universe 11 cards we have Dispo, Kunchi, and uh, Vuan these are all of the two drop cards uh, except for one uh, Dispo has a similar effect to the Jiren however when this card is removed by a skill you may place one card in your life instead so this card actually cannot be removed by KOing skills bottom decking bouncing back to hand um, only can be removed by having its power reduced to zero which would count as a game mechanic However, when this card attacks, you get to KO a five cost or less. Uh, it's very mid of a card, honestly. It's a worse version of um, the hit battle card, which does a similar effect uh, by reducing a card by 5k. So that's probably a more of an addition than this card. So this is more likely just going to be uh, um, uh, in your binder or in your bulk. Then we have Kunchi and Vuan, which are both of the 10k combos. These cards are actually very good for the deck. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, 25k power or less, and it cannot attack during the next turn. This is very good. This is going to stop a lot of cards from being able to attack, which a lot of them have on attack effects, uh, which is very good. So uh, you can stop quite a bit of cards from actually attacking or getting into rest mode, rather. 
And then Vaughn is a uh, take up to one life and he is a blocker. Both of these cards, very, very good. Uh, I would definitely say both of these should be in your main board for Jiren. Now we get to the remaining battle cards that are of, um, of importance to talk about that are not skillless. We have Margarita. This is probably the best one drop now for red. Now that Master Roshi is gone. On play, if your leader is Awoken, choose one of your battle cards and it gets 10k for the battle. Then this card is also a 10k combo, meaning you produce 20k combo from a one energy card. Definitely going to be included in this deck as well as probably every other red deck. We have the Kai, or Kai Ai, whatever, whatever his uh, his name actually is. Uh, top 5 for a Pride Trooper that costs 4 or less. And uh, rest with the bottom of the deck in any order. So this is the searcher for the deck. Can be good, can be bad, just depending on if you are running um, the entire U11 package. Then you have uh, Belmod. When attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, 25, uh, 20 power or less, and it gets minus 15k for the turn. This actually is a good card. Um, the problem is it is a 0k combo, which we don't like. However, this is an actually this is a pretty powerful card to help you remove battle cards early. But we do have a better card in the deck we're going to end up running, so Belmont is more likely not going to be included in our main deck. Now we're going to get to the spell support of the Universe 11 package, which is honestly where a lot of this deck's power comes from. So first we have It's Over. If you have a battle card in play that's 30k power or more, choose all of your opponent's battle cards, 25k power or less, and KO them. This is going to allow you to board wipe red very easily, considering the use uh, the U7 Android 17 can only be uh, only has its permanent affected by battle card effects, meaning this card can KO that and everything else on their board. Essentially, doing a board clear for two energy is very very powerful. Then we have a double cannon maximum. Activate battle, choose your leader or battle card, and it gets 15k power. Then, if you have a total of three or more Pry Troopers in their character traits or special traits among your leader and battle cards, your leader gets 5k for the turn. This will actually turn your leader into a 25k, I'm sorry, into a 30k, rather, uh, for the turn if you are awoken. Uh, so your leader obviously counts. Then you have two other cards in play that are, you know, uh, Pry Troopers. This card will now allow you to trigger. So this is technically a 20k combo on the first then just lingering 5k for the remaining of the turn essentially going to be sort of a, almost a floodgate in a sense your opponent's going to have to pass or not be able to swing at your leader at least this brings me to my favorite card in this entire set for red uh, out, outside of like the srs which is sphere of destruction this is a two cost extra card choose one of your opponent's battle cards 25k power or less and ko it then if your opponent is life is at four or more, deal one damage to your opponent. This is going to allow you to clear literally anything your opponent plays before turn four, excluding a few cards or skillless. You can kill almost every single card they're going to play. Why this is good, this allows you to deal damage as well as remove their board without having to play a battle card and swing into it, right? Which means they're going to have to swing into your leader or they're not going to swing at all, lose the draw, and that's going to stagger your awakened condition, quote unquote. This card is going to be generally a four of in my build for Jiren, and it should be in yours as well. This card is just going to allow you to deal with any pesky three to three cost or less card that's going to be played from any color. Uh, and that's really powerful. And also being able to deal a damage to your opponent at the same time. This is insane for a, a common so I, I think this should have been the rare of the uh, of the extra cards, but what do I know? I don't know. Uh, the last one is the greatest showdown of all time. This is a five cost extra card. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards, minus it by 20K, then play up to one battle card that costs four or less and universe in its special trait from your hand. So this is kind of interesting. So you do have a few different targets and why would you do this outside of just paying the four energy for that battle card? Well, you do get to minus it by 20K and this is the only other extra card in the game, I think, or the only card in the game that minuses something by 20k, other than the five cost double striker. So you can minus something by 20k and then swing into it. So what are some of the targets? Obviously, we have the Jiren that we've already seen, as well as Topo. But then we also have this Goku, which is going to be probably the boss monster for the deck. 
being able to minus something by 15k then on play and then being able to swing into it to then burn your opponent another damage so this is also this is going to be a 35k reduction which is enough to kill almost anything in the game and then you're also swinging into it which is either going to uh, remove cards from your opponent's hand so they don't take the burn or you're just going to burn a damage from them and remove something on board anyways we also have another target which is one of the newer cards the fajita 20k sr which becomes a 50k battle card if you just if you uh, discard two cards from your hand and then activate battle you can ko a 25k power or less battle card off of this effect as well so essentially being able to clear two cards uh as well so this is also another another target probably the weakest of the um of the four to play off this effect but it still is something to consider now we get to some of the older support for the deck um probably the two easiest cards to include in any red deck right is gohan and kefla which allows you to then expand your deck and being able to play out a lot of the other top cards it just gives you sort of a middle ground for your deck uh considering how weak the universe 11 archetype is for battle cards they're really really bad in the sense i mean obviously some of them are 10k so they're at least playable but a lot of the other cards are just not very good so in this sense this gives us two really really strong cards we can play in the mid game to allow us to extend our plays and just gives us other things to play other than jiren now the typical deck idea is going to be utilizing these two cards during the middle game and the early game to keep your opponent's board clear while you get to the late game so you can shield yourself with being able to play the bigger cards uh which are these two cards in particular more than likely going to be the jiren though but topo obviously has that same effect now we're going to go over the deck list and uh show you guys what i created now with jiren uh this list is going to be pretty fleshed out um with doing some testing on untap and then also just doing a lot of play testing with um you know gold fishing my hands and trying to figure out what the best ratios for cards were and kind of my percentage and being able to draw stuff if it felt good or not so we're going to start with the one drops which you are seeing I, I do not play the searcher in this deck the reason why is about a little under half of the cards in this deck are non uh non u11 so about 60 percent of the cards i would say in this deck are are, are, are going to have the u11 tag uh, now this is good but also not great uh, because a lot of the cards that are not u11 we, we want to make sure we see those cards in the deck uh, so we don't actually run that card it, i just i find it not to be very good um, the extra cards are probably the best part about being able to search them out and then everything else really just wasn't really you know needed as a search so instead of doing that we just decided just let's just have some hard draws and that just gives us new cards we're going to see every single time and not have to worry about bottom decking some of our very important cards then we do have the one drop margarita so this gives us a awaken card that also is a 20k combo very very powerful card we have the vaughn and the kunchi both are running at low amounts that way we can fit in some other cards as i already said the u11 archetype for battle cards is very very weak if you really focus on playing those you're doing yourself a disservice and you're decreasing the power that this deck can technically have as a late game control deck that utilizes the strength of extra cards to really clear the board and extend the game so these are really in here just because they're 10ks the Vaughn is nice being able to uh, play this down into crit matchups so you can take your own life and then block a crit swing and then Kunji being able to stop 25k battle cards from swinging Remember, if you do actually reduce the cost of a card um, and then play the Kunchi and trigger that card, if it's less now than 25k, it will work. Meaning this is probably going to be played in Beerus as well because of that very strong effect. Now, this card here is a new card um, as well as the rest of the cards in the set, but this is a promotional card not found in the actual set. So you will need to either buy this card online um, after people have had their store championships or store or store locals um or a, or an event pack um if you if you, if you end up going to a um a in-person event um this is a three drop jiren that's a 25k on play you get to take a life and then on your opponent's turn this is a 30k battle card meaning this allows you to proc your awakened side permanent which is 
very good so then you can stop yourself from being double striked now this is also a 30k so this is going to get around some of your opponent's removal uh, without them having to interact with the card right and also just being a 25k body just gives you something early in the game that you can play to help clear some other cards if you don't have your sphere of destruction then we have the one of kefla two of the new fajita uh, top's which also can be played off of Kefla, surprisingly. Uh, this is going to be a very good card. I just didn't find the room for more than two, uh, but you can you can might you know want to mess around with it and potentially run more if you find it uh, to, to kind of fit your play style. Four of the Gohans because this card is probably our best three drop next to the the Jiren promo, and this being able to help us again clear cards. This is a 25k on our turn. We can use this to just clear other battle cards. We don't have any power reduction really in the deck other than this card uh so this is this card uh, and uh, obviously the secret rare so this is just going to give us another potential way of just being able to remove cards uh two of this awakened kefla mainly because it is a 10k and our as you see our deck doesn't really i mean we have some good 10k so we just want to keep that uh that pattern going and then we also run four of this new kaba uh which is probably going to be the most overutilized card in in red now because of its effect if your leader is awoken you can add a non kaba battle card that costs four or less and top and a special trait from your drop to your hand meaning you can add the uh cantrip kefla you can add the gohan you can add vegeta and you can add back kefla now which is just gives us another way of recycling this very 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 powerful card and also it is a 10k we have three of the secret rare this is going to be our big boss monster, so our deck is going to cap out at the four cost, I believe. I don't think I have a five cost battle card in here. If I do, it's it's the double striker, and I might have just added that out accidentally. Uh, but this is going to be kind of our big our big boss monster. We're going to play using this to uh, reduce the cost of battle cards, swinging into them, so to keep the board clear, and also just extending our burn damage that we're going to be able to do for the Jiren, because this is sort of your way of drawing once you've awoken. Uh, of course, the blue matchup can kind of remove this card very easily, but again, very similar to green. If blue is spending their entire turn removing our Jiren, we are still in the lead because now they're not actually playing anything else. Uh, four Kaba Super Combos. This is just to go with the theme of the U6 cards. Four of the Sphere of Destructions. Again, as I said, this is your best. This is a better than most two drop battle cards that you can play in the game. So being able to clear something that's 25k and deal a damage is very strong for two energy we have two glimpse of the hidden uh, arrogance this is just another extra card uh this is a 25k boost and then if you have a battle card that's 30k or more you can add a four or less battle card to your hand so what's nice is again jiren is going to be a 30k this jiren is going to this this is a 30k this is the 30k or you can use this to combo on top of a battle card to save it uh, the Jiren is probably going to be the best target for this just because it's naturally 30k, which means the 25k can go towards our leader. And then we can add back any of these other cards that are 4 cost, which is basically our entire deck, which is really, really cool. And then the last two are going to be double cannon maximum. Uh, this is going to be good. This is essentially going to be your Sensu Bean um, against red and uh, against yellow, potentially, if they decide to climb a little bit higher than the typical 20-25k attackers. So this is the Jiren list that I'm going to be playing probably out of the gate. Uh, and then I'll make some changes to it as this as the set goes on. If I find something that's going to be a little bit better or tweak the list just slightly and then update it for you guys. But that will do it for me today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe to the channel if you guys do want to support the content. And I will see you guys in the next Fusion World video.